everyone! So welcome to our Mystery of History class. This is my son, Reza, and my nephew, Fry. So uh, we're using the Mystery of History book. So we're now on Lesson 1, Creation. So what I normally do, I just read the book to them. So everything. And sometimes if there's any um, YouTube that I know is helpful, we, we, we can watch it after. And then I will try to go to um, the activities so that they can digest what they've learned. So it is also important that when you're studying the mystery of history, you have your Bible with you so that you can actually, um, it's a good way to also introduce um, um, verses in the Bible because history will prove that the Bible is real. So we hope uh, you enjoy this journey as we study the mystery of history. For lesson one, I'm going to try to read the creation. So important to know the timeline, so 4004 BC. And then I try to read every everything. Creation is amazing, like just uh, storytelling until um, until the, the, the whole, full chapter. And we will try to do the activities so that they can digest what they've learned. Especially that creation is a very, very um, foundational knowing knowing um, how God created us, who created us, um, when we were created, and why God created us. Because if, if um, the child is able to understand who the Creator is, then the journey will be um, more fruitful. It will be easier to understand the following um, lessons. So in lesson one, um, our activity, the suggested activity is actually to um, cut seven circles, but in our case, we're just, um, we cut out seven pieces of paper, and then to label each paper with day one, and then I ask them to um, try to understand what is their concept of light and darkness, so they just have, they, what, what so he separated light and darkness. But remember, the sun and the moon, they were actually created on the fourth day. So actually, the light does not, is not the sun because the light is actually God, Jesus himself. And we will learn that in Revelation because when the world ends, there will be no more need for sun because Jesus himself will be the light of the world. So... Um, so I'm going to show you later their uh, artwork and that's our pamangkin, Didai. <laughs> so what's day three? Okay, later you're going to show your day three. You also fry, okay? That's our loud. But no nice <laughs> Yeah. So God is, is amazing because He did not create the animals first before the plants because he's setting first um, the food for the animals right yeah because if he created the animals first before the plants what are the animals gonna eat and you'll find out later on it's only the time of um, of Noah when God allowed well human beings to eat meat all right so Okay, boy, so day four, what did God create? The, I want to see on your drawing the sun, the moon, and the stars. Okay? So the heavenly bodies. That's why later on. Day what? Day four. Day four, the sun, the moon, and the stars. So that's why we would love to study astronomy because we want to understand why did God put the stars, the moon, and um, the sun. So later we will find out it's because for, it's because of um, signs and seasons. So it's meant to be a calendar of activities. His first coming and his most importantly his second coming. That's right. I'm just trying to know stars and which part the stars are. You can use the pencil pen. Done with day four. Day five, God 
created the sea creatures and the birds. Okay? So, remember, in day two, God created the heavens. So that the birds will have a place to fly, right? And God created the seas on day three. So that when He creates the sea creatures, they already have a habitat. Right? Is God intelligent? So I want to see on your drawing, uh, on your paper, lots of sea creatures on the sea and birds. In the okay. So that's day number five. So what are you drawing, Ice? Sea. Sea. I want to see the sea creatures. So your question, if Adam and Eve were cavemen, no, they were not. They were made in the image and likeness of God, right? And God is an intelligent being. So they were intelligent. In fact, after this, we will learn about uh, Tubal and Cain, and they were intelligent people. Can I see, Bray? Oh, day six. Oh, what did God create, day six? Okay. Land animals called land animals and then Adam and Eve, okay? Mm, yeah, right. I did. Okay, so for day seven, I want both of you to draw and imagine, of course, we all already know that God rested on day seven, right? Yeah. And, but God said before He rested, like, it is good. And I was like, so I want you to draw what He was looking at. I want you to, in one paper, all the things you drew, put it in one. But you already know that God rested in so when He said in His book that God rested. So I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna draw. Okay. Are you drawing? Okay, so this is Ice and he's done. He's gonna share with us what he drew. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the seven days of creation. Okay. So show me day one. Okay, this is day one. Okay, day one. Show it. Show it. So day one. So tell me what's happening here. Day one is all about... No, let's make it lower. Okay. Uh, day one is all about... First man and the first woman. Adam and Eve. Okay, very good. And day seven, what did you draw here? God is sleeping. God is sleeping. God rested. Okay, very good. So, who is our creator? Okay, G O D. Why did God create us? Why? Very good. Okay, sit up. Okay, so when did God create us? When? How many years ago? 6,000. Very good. And how? How did He create the first man? With dust. And then He put the breath. The dust. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so did you enjoy that activity? So who is your creator again? God. Alright, so you know your purpose already. To glorify and worship you. 
So this is um, Fry, and it's his first year in homeschooling, and I'm so excited to teach him the mystery of history. So, Fry, let's see your activity. So, um, again, who is our creator? God. God. And uh, let's see day one. What did God create day um, one? Show, he show me. He separated the light and the dark. Okay, good. So he said, let, bear, let there be light. Let there be light, and he separated. Very good. Day two? So, you created the heavens. And then, day three. He created the sea and the, okay, show and the plants and the, um, and the grass. Very good. And, and the land. Very good. He created the sea, the land, and the plants and trees. Very good. Day four. He created the moon and the stars and the sun. Okay, very good. Day five. He created the um, birds and the sea creatures. Okay, so day five, God created the sea creatures and birds. And then and day six. He created the land animals and he created the first uh, humans. Very good. Who is the first? What's the name of the first man and the first Adam woman? And Eve. Adam and Eve. Very good. And last, and last show God, us your last. God rested and and like taking a view of what he created and and like he said that he loves the thing that he made. Very good. Last question. Why did God create us? Um so we could glorify uh, so we could glorify him and worship him. Okay, so do you want to glorify your creator? Okay, so Fry, after teaching you lesson one about um, the seven days of creation, the most important thing is to know more about God. So I want you to take into heart this one. What did we learn? God is our creator. God is our creator. And if He created everything in six days, therefore He is powerful. powerful. So that is one of the most important things that I want you to, both of you, to actually understand. Alright? So, even if you don't memorize that day one to day six, all you put in your, what you need to do is put in your heart that God is God our is creator, creator, which is the most important thing and lesson that I want you to learn. Okay? Cool? Alright. So there you have it. That's uh, lesson one for Mystery of History. So um, that's how I teach it to my, well, two students as of now. So hope you enjoyed the video. Bye! Outside the plane.